Hey guys, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan and this is the Hard Surface Modeling Hack 5. If you didn't watch our previous tutorial, then please watch them. You will get a lot of knowledge related to the Hard Surface Modeling. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and now let's get started. So we will start with the cylinder. So shift A and add a cylinder. We will go with the 32 words. Select this face and press I for the insert operation. Then take it a little bit up along the Z axis. Then you need to create a little bit of tapper kind of shape at there. Okay, that's fine. Adjust the position of the face and then you need to add the loop cuts. So control R and then add loop cuts. Add three loop cuts and three loop cuts are enough. Okay, then you need to add one more cylinder. So shift A and add cylinder and this cylinder will have eight words. So go with the eight words and then scale it down a little bit. And now you need to give the proper position to this cylinder because this is our cutter object. Okay. So just give the right position. You can use the wireframe and give the right position to this cylinder. Just select these words, go to the edit mode and then select these words and right click and then connect vertex file. And same thing here to the bottom side. Just connect them. Then you need to select these faces and you need to delete these faces. So select the faces and press X to delete them. Okay, then select this edge loop and E to extrude it and extrude it along the X axis. So this will be your cutter object. Okay, and then give the position to this cutter object, adjust the scale of this object. Then you need to adjust the edges. So adjust the position of the edges and double tap G for the edge slide so you can move them. And then just fix this uh, part at the right position and then you need to use select that part then select your cylinder and then use the bull tool and the boolean operation which is a difference then you need to apply that boolean modifier and then you can delete that cutter object okay you will get this kind of shape and we need to create a right topology actor which will support this shape okay then you need to select these words and we will create for center edge. So select the words and then right click and then connect vertex path. Okay, then you need to add here the loop cuts. Same thing, just right click and then connect these words. And use the edge slide to give the right position to these words. Or you can move it with the move tool also. Just try to keep the same distance. So you will get a decent form sharing on your model. Okay, then you need to select this edge loop and then control X and then dissolve them. So just select that edge loop and control X to dissolve it. Okay. So you will get this kind of something like this. And now you need to create a topology, right? So add loop cuts like this, select this word, right click and then connect vertex path. Then use the edge slide. And you can see we are not getting the right loop cuts because there are double edge words. So select everything, press M and then merge by distance. So double words get merged. You need to give the little bit more merge distance so all the double words will get merged. And then you need to add the loop cuts like this and you need to connect them. And try to create a chord based topology so you will get more decent look. So just select these words and then right click and then connect them. Make sure you add the loop cut at the center so that's why I have did the undo here because I want to add the loop cut at the center so I can maintain the edge flow. Then you need to connect these words so just add loop cuts and then connect them. Then add loop cut here and we will dissolve it and we will maintain the form of the cylinder so don't need to worry about the form of the cylinder. Just create a right topology and loop structure around that boolean. Simple things and we will give the different direction to this edge loop so we can maintain the form of the cylinder. Try to keep the same distance around that boolean. So this is the rule that you should have the same distance for that loop which will you create around that boolean. Then add the loop cuts like this. And then you need to add the loop cuts along the x, y axis. And then create a loop structure right there. So you need to select these words and then connect them. Simple thing. And then you can dissolve these loop cuts. So you can see we have created this loop at there. Now we need to change the direction of that loop. So that's why select these words, right click and then connect to vertex path. And we will uh, give the different direction. So then you can dissolve these edges. We don't need this. 
and same thing we need to do from the outer side also and then add loop cuts like this and dissolve this end gone so you can create a chord at there means you need to add the loop cut and create a chord based topology at there okay then you need to select this word right click and then connect vertex path select this word right click and then connect vertex path same thing you need to do to the both side okay then you can dissolve that edge loop and now you can see we have created just uh, select these edges and then dissolve them so we won't get that in gone at uh, sorry triangles at there now you can see the loop structure we have created around that boolean and now you can see easily we have created this loop structure and this loop structure will help us to maintain the form of the cylinder so double tap g just for to keep the same distance and then you need to add the loop cuts like this and control r and then add one more loop cut like this and use the edge slide to give the proper position then you need to dissolve these edges and then dissolve these edge loops also and then you need to select these words right click and then connect vertex bar same thing here so you can see we have created one face loop structure from the inside of that boolean also so we can get more decent look so these loop structures are important when you want to create any kind of boolean then you can add the subdivision surface modifier and just select this face because we are getting a little bit of weird result so just press i for the insert operation and then you can delete that face then add loop cut over here then select this face loops and then delete these faces okay and now you can see the loop structures which we have created on the model and then add loop cuts if it necessary otherwise you can keep it as it is and then you can increase the sub d count so you will get more decent look and then just add here loop cuts which will help us to support the and to maintain the form of the cylinder and now you can see it's look decent you can increase the sub d count if it's necessary and now the main task is to maintain the form of the cylinder like that cylindrical shape so that's why we need to rotate this and if you want to take the symmetry then you can take the symmetry also but before that we need to rotate it into the 45 degree so we will can create a multiple of that particular design then delete these words and then you can go to the object mode and here i want to maintain the form of the cylinder that cylindrical form so i can select the words and i can move them along the it's normal and i will can try to maintain the edge flow at there so we can maintain that cylindrical form and now you can see it's look little bit good just dissolve that edge loop and then you can add if it's necessary that edge loop and then just use the local axis or local transform orientation and then just try to maintain the good edge flow at there so you will get more decent look decent shading on that cylinder and then add loop cut which will help us to maintain the form of the cylinder so you can see we have created a decent boolean at there decent design with the right topological method and we try to maintain that face loop structure around that boolean around that particular design so we will get a more decent look then shift d to duplicate it and rotate it so you can rotate it and then select everything and then join them and then you need to select everything press m and merge by distance so you can create a multiple design and you can see it's look decent you can see the edge flow here and the form of the cylinder so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care